YouTube! It is Ben 10,000 of YGO, your friendly neighborhood Yu-Gi-Oh! superhero, back again with a Thunder Stun deck. Needless to say, uh, all our opponents are going to get THUNDERSTRUCK! <laughs> if I can find the audio for that later, I'm going to use that. <laughs> um... I hope you guys will stick around to the end of the video uh, when we will be discussing this week's shouted out small Yugi tuber. And without further ado, take it away, Maestro!
right, there you have it, guys. That was my, I don't know, I'm calling it my Thunderstruck deck, but it's really like a Thunder Stun deck, but that's okay. Uh, the overall goal of this deck is really just to throw out like Denko Seca plus Mustang plus uh, Thunder King and uh, Lightning Rod Lord here and watch your opponent scream. Unfortunately, this deck has one really big Achilles heel. You need Ties of the Brethren to go off to get anywhere. If this card doesn't go off, you're playing the slow roll game. That's why you got Pot of Duality in here. That's kind of your alternate play style. So what you'll do is you'll either play Pot of Duality because you've only got the ability to play one monster. So the idea of you play Duality, then you're going to kind of get to pick what your defense for that one lightning monster is. Or hopefully you'll draw into the ties and you can use it later. Hopefully, if you're not dead. As you saw, though, I did beat a few of the uh, of the up-and-coming meta decks that are really powerful. So that is not to say that this is impossible. It is certainly not. It's just like I'm telling you guys, Ties of the Brethren, is it's very reliant on that card. Uh, and I'm sure there's a better way to build this. This was just me kind of taking what I already knew about this type of deck beforehand. Uh, back when you only play two Thunder King. So I up the Thunder King, kind of built it with what I could remember. And then I thought, okay, let's play with some of the cards that are newer. Um, I didn't really go into the extra deck. So I just, you can ignore that if you want. I never really used it. You don't have to use it either. <laughs> and I'm sure there's some utility there too. Uh, I think that I, I think another field spell that somebody suggested to me was like Seal of Orichalcos, and I never did try that. But you guys could try that. Uh, always remember, when I make a deck profile, it is never the definitive answer. My goal is to give you guys a template, which then you take that template and then you build the best version for you. You know, maybe there's a better way to play it, or maybe, you know, the, where it's more functional, or maybe they just don't like the certain tech cards I have. Like, one day a piece. You don't need one day a piece in there. You just, you know what I mean? You could, it's just an option to play. Uh, if you think you need more destruction, swap it out through a dark hole. Wreck the place. <laughs> if that's what you think you gotta do, go for it. The whole point of of giving you this is just like I said, it's a template. It, I want you to take it and run with it and build your own version, uh, because I truly th and because I, I truly think there is no such thing as an unbeatable deck. I only think that uh, some decks are just easier uh, at beating at winning than others. <laughs> that might be a duh statement, but you guys get what I'm saying. Another thing you want to remember is this deck is very hard uh, hard pressed to beat a deck that is very graveyard oriented. So Burning Abyss, Light Sworn, uh, the Phantom Knight deck, these are the decks that are kind of give this deck a little bit of trouble because summoning from the graveyard is kind of the Achilles heel to it. But, uh, and Fairy Tale, an early Fairy Tale can just wreck this thing. <laughs> But I, but you've been warned, <laughs> and I'm sure you guys know also some different things to do. Like this isn't my preferred method of deck to play. This was just me, you know, taking an older deck, putting it in the current meta, and seeing what I could do with it. And this is what I came up with. And I actually beat some decks I didn't think I could beat. So it's definitely got it. It lives up to the title of stun. <laughs> you could almost say it was shocking. Eh? Eh? <laughs> I'm sorry about that, guys. I know, bad puns. Anyway, today's shout it out you to Yugi Tuber of the week is Team Forbidden. They also did a th Thunder deck uh, that kind of helped inspire this from last year, and they're still uploading to this day. So. Uh, they, their newest video, I think was a, is a week old, so I know they're still uploading. Um, go check them out. They've got, they're halfway there, guys. They got the 540 subs. Uh, if you don't, haven't heard of Team Forbidden, go check them out. Go decide if you like them, and if you like them, subscribe and give them a hand. Uh, 
So that's our shouted out YugiTuber of the week. I'm Ben 10,000 of YGO, your friendly neighborhood Yu-Gi-Oh superhero. I hope you guys will like my video, subscribe to me, and I'm signing off. Peace, guys.